o'clock. Um, my name is Lawrence. I am the executive director of Young Producers Group, a lifelong producer um, and a uh, big fan of The Grid, big, big fan of Lori and the team. Happy to be here with you all today. Um, 30 people, come on in. We're going to get started here in just one minute. Uh, please feel free to to you know hit me in the chat. I'm going to be... Uh, you know, looking mostly at my software. Um, Candice, are you still here? I am. Okay. If, if, um, are, are, are students able to unmute themselves? I believe so. They're going to come in muted by default, but they should be okay. able to unmute themselves. All right. If, if we can unmute, you know, we can unmute ourselves. Ooh. There you are. Okay. Cool. cool. <laughs> so, okay. Please, please don't be shy. And, and if I'm doing something that you don't understand or you want to know a little bit more, um, you know, let's make this a conversation. Let's make this a back and forth. Uh, and and yeah, we'll get going. Well, look, guys, it is nine o'clock. So so I think it is time to get started um, again. For those who just came in, my name is Lawrence Gray. I am the boss of Young Producers Group. I run this thing. Uh, we teach music production and technology in person in LAUSD. We're in 10 schools around the city. And then we make uh, some pretty sick curricula around the stuff that we provide to schools all around the country. Uh, our whole thing is showing young people how to make original music, right? We are all about uh, getting young people writing the stuff that they actually listen to. Um, you know, uh, that's, that's what we love to do and, and students love it too. We're, um, really, you know, excited to work with teachers to help, um, you know, get them do it. And, and yeah, so let's jump in. I see a question here in the chat. Uh, Christopher asks, so do you make beats on Soundtrap? The, uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, but today Soundtrap is acting crazy. Um, Soundtrap is acting real silly. So we're not going to be able to use it. It's, it's um, basically, guys, uh, Soundtrap is a website. And like all websites, sometimes they have issues with servers. Um, and, and, you know, there's literally tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people using it at a time. Uh, and as fate would have it, it seems like it is uh, not playing nice for us today. So... Um, we're going to be focusing on a program called Ableton Live. Uh, you know what? I'll actually put that. Uh, was good, Aaron. Welcome. Um, I'll put that in the chat. Uh, Ableton Live is what it's called. If you are a K-12 student, which I know everybody on here is, um, I can give you a free license of Ableton. Um, we can give you a free copy of the software. However, you do need a Mac or a PC to use it. It is a professional level program that is uh, too much for a Chromebook to handle. Um, you know, any one of your schools can also get free Ableton uh, for your school computers. Um, they, they have an Ableton for the classroom initiative. So if you are a teacher on here um, and you're interested in something like that, uh, let me know. Uh, Aaron asks, do I know Yeet since I make beats? I do not know Yeet. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> um, all right. So again, we were going to be talking about Soundtrap. Today, we're going to be talking about the basics of, of Ableton Live, um, which is a, a, really, a really amazing program that, again, is free for students, free for schools, um, let's, let's get going. Um, can, can people in the, in the chat here or, or, you know, feel free to unmute yourself. Are there any producers, are there any beat makers, um, already in the room? Okay. Matthew is a producer. That's good to know. Anybody else already making beats? Okay. Athena is making beats. Wow. Gilgamesh making beats. Okay. We got some, we got some producers. Javier gave me a thumbs up. Nice. Um, if you could, please tell me what software you're using or, or if you're using hardware, um, that's cool too. Let, let me know, guys. All right, Matthew's on GarageBand, Soundtrap, GarageBand. Javier's on BandLab. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so if, if people are already using Soundtrap, it's kind of cool that we're talking about something a little bit different. 
Um, there's a lot of similarities uh, between between any DAW, but there's also different. Okay, Javier's on Pro Tools. Wow, nice. So no one's used Ableton yet. Nobody's on Ableton Live. Okay, interesting. So again, guys, uh, we can hook you up with this software for free. Um, we we can get we can get that going. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, general email for Young Producers Group in the chat. Young Producers Group. So it's contact at youngproducersgroup.com. Shoot us an email and we will send you an Ableton Live intro serial number that is yours to keep um, and, and is yours for, you know, uh, forever, um, independent of the school that you go to. It's also worth mentioning that our friends at 1500 Sound Academy are doing a Ableton workshop at 11 a.m. So, you know, what, what we're going to be talking about here is more sort of entry level, more sort of basic stuff. Um, and they're going to be getting to, into the more advanced elements of it. Okay. I have been talking for quite too long of a time. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, shrink this, um, grid screen and we're going to jump right into Ableton live. Um, so please guys, because I'm not going to be able to see the chat because I'm not going to be able to, uh, you know, see what's going on. If you have a question, Please, please, please feel free to unmute yourself. Stop me and we will get into it. All right. Rock and roll. Let's get it popping, folks. So this is Ableton. Um, I'm going to delete some of the things that I was using in my little sound check and we will get it started. So right away, party people, you'll notice that Ableton is set up just a little bit different than what we're used to. If you look here, our tracks, right, where we put our instruments are going up and down, right? Track one, track two, track three, track four. Uh, there is another view here where our tracks can go left and right. But this, what's called session view, is a bit different from any other digital audio workstation, whether that's GarageBand, Soundtrap, Pro Tools, whatever. Um, and and we'll, we'll start here, and then we're going to move on to the other side. And, and like in Soundtrap, we have what's kind of like a loop tab. This is what we call our browser, okay? You can think of the browser as like the loop tab mixed with the like add instrument window. It's anytime we want to add anything in, we go to this little section on the left that I'm opening and closing called the browser. All right, now we're going to get started with drums, and uh, what what better way to get going than with an 808? An 808 is a classic drum machine um, that's best known uh, for the kick drum sound that everybody loves. Um, so check it out. If I want to hear what this 808 core kit sounds like, I'm just going to click on it once, and I'm going to get a little preview. So this little cheesy drum beat that we're hearing is not to say this is the drum beat that you're going to use. It's more just an example of, hey, this is what these sounds sound like, right? So here's that same drum beat, but with 707 sounds. This is with 909. But let's do, let's do our 808, all right? So if I like this one, I'm going to click on it, drag it, and drop it onto my first track. And now we see, instead of it just saying one MIDI, Musical Instrument Digital Interface MIDI, now it says one 808 core kit and we can see down here at the bottom i've got my little 808 sounds and that sounds pretty nice uh but you know i i don't want to sit here and have to play it by hand clicking my drum beat right that's not cool i want to actually have the computer play it for me right so i have to make a pattern for it this is similar to what you would do in the um Patterns Beatmaker or in your piano role in, in Soundtrap or GarageBand. Uh, but we're going to do it here in these slots. So I've selected my drum beat or my drum kit rather, dragged and dropped it in. And now I've got my, my slots where I can make my pattern. I'm going to double click to create what we call a clip. All right. And you can see now we have our different sounds, bass drum, snare, right? All these little guys. 
right here for me to make a pattern. And this is basically exactly the same thing, as I said, as a patterns beat maker, where we have 16 subdivisions of a bar that we can use to make our pattern. Now, I know it's, you know, nine in the morning here in California, uh, but it's never too early to make some hip hop. So I'm going to go down to where it says 120 and let's slow it down to a hip hop tempo. Does anybody have a favorite tempo that, that I can be working with? Ooh, I heard a little poop. 140. Okay, so Matthew says 140. So 140 is the same thing as 70, right? It's the double time of 70. So uh, let's let's do... Oh, so Matthew does dubstep. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, wow. So let's let's uh, let's do let's do 140. All right. Um, and we're gonna do uh, so let's go. We're, we're gonna do it as the, the halftime as 70. Okay. So we got 70 beats per minute up here at our, our tempo up top. Um Ibrahim says 90. Okay, awesome. We got a lot of a lot of producers in the room. I love this. This is so cool. Thank you so much for the engagement, guys. Um, all right, so now. Uh, I've got my clip. I've got my tempo. Now I need to. I need to press play on this clip, and we know that the triangle is our is our play button. So I hit play, and now we see our little playhead is moving through it. So I'm going to put a kick drum on the one, right? Because we see one, one point two, one point three, one point four. Almost always, folks, we have a kick drum on the one. And we have a clap or a snare drum on the two and the four. So this right here is the foundation of just about every single hip hop beat. Let's add a little bit more to this. I'm going to get going with a hi-hat. All right. And we can keep going. So, but on. Okay, now, this is pretty basic, but it's sounding good. Any questions on what I've done so far? I selected my sound, dropped it in, created a clip, pressed play on it, wrote in a little pattern with a kick drum on the one, snare on two and four, and then hi-hats across. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Matthew does it all the time. Love it. Okay, sweet. Now... Let's get a little bit more spicy here, okay? So here's where Ableton gets crazy, right? We can see this. Let's call this version one. Cannot type this. Very siren one. Okay, version one. Now, take a look here, party people. I'm going to duplicate this down. So now we have version one, and let's make this version two. So for version two, I want to trap it out a little bit, okay? I'm going to do little little blasts of hi-hats. So we can see down here on the bottom right, folks, that we are in 16th notes, which means our one, two, three, four of a bar is cut up into 16 subdivisions, right? We can see if we were to count these hi-hats, there would be 16 of them. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Command-1 on my Mac. That's Control-1 on a PC. And now we're in 32nd notes. 64th notes and I can keep going. I can keep cutting it in half until I get to 16,384th notes. It's crazy, right? If I do that, it sounds like a bug. It sounds like an insect. Um, so we don't need to be that fast. So now let's go to version two. We're going to press play on version two. And I want to put a little brrr right there. And Let's make this twice as long. So I'm going to go to duplicate. And now I have one to two, two to three. So we've got two bars now. Let's do triplets right there. So if I was hitting command one and command two to make my grid bigger and smaller, I'm now going to hit command three to cut it into triplets. Does anybody know what I'm talking about when I say triplets? And I'm not talking about three babies born at the same time. Javier, can you can you give us a little bit of a an example of what triplets are? Uh, 
What do you think, Javier? What do you think, bro? Anybody want to help out, Javier? Okay, okay. Uh, Matthew, you said you're lost. Uh, okay, it's a subdivision on the beat by three. Nice. So let's take a look at that, right? So here, if I zoom in, right, we can see that this section, right? Can you? Yeah. No. What's up? Oh, I'm so okay. So this is Mr. Javier. I'm a. Uh, I'm Mr. Javier. I have a classroom full of guitar students oh, in here. And so we're all watching and we work, we work with uh, triplets. We do triplets. We scratch triplets on our guitar class. Nice. So cool. we're, we're all following along. There's a, a class of uh, like 30 students that are watching you right now. Oh, what is up, Mr. Javier students? Uh, it's cool that you guys are playing guitar. Um, I started playing guitar. A lot of the producers I know started playing guitar. Uh, so cool. So as, as Mr. Javier's class well knows it's when we take a uh, space that is normally cut up in two right so we can see this space between this is a this is an eighth note right we have it cut into two but if i were to make it triplets i would cut that same amount of space into threes right so this here is 16th note triplets and this is just 16th notes so in the space where there were two now there are three so what does that sound like? Let's bring this down for a hi-hat row and see if we can hear a difference, right? So our, our 16th notes are deca 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 ticket ticket ticket, right? And then deca da deca da deca da deca da is gonna be our triplets. So let's let's hear that. Deca da deca da deca, right? We cut it up. We can make some cool variations like that. Okay. Love it. Love it. So I think we've got a nice little beat. And again, we have version one and version two. So here's where the session view is crazy. I can press play on this. This is just that normal one. And then you know what? Let's make it a little bit more spicy on our version two. And let's put a little symbol on the one. Now, whenever I'm ready, right? This is just gonna keep looping forever and ever until I jump to the next piece. One, two, three, and right now I have two different clips, two different things that I can do sitting there as options, right? So this is what makes Ableton live, live. Pretty cool. Any questions about that? I think it's working now. Okay. okay. Could you give us the link one more time for the free Ableton? Yes, 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 yes. So uh, what you want to do is you want to search Ableton for the classroom. That's how you get the software for free for your school. And if you are a student that is interested in getting the free Ableton for yourself, shoot us an email at contact at youngproducers.com. Right? Okay, cool. I tried to record that, tried to be sneaky. So, all right, folks, um, we got some we got some beats going here. All right, cool. Now, uh, I'm going to do just a little bit of sprucing up here because I like the way this stuff sounds, but I think we can make it hit harder. So here's my drum beat, right? We can see my drum rack. I'm going to go to my hi-hats, and I'm going to – this is, you know, this is what you guys are going to be doing with the um, – the 1500 guys getting more into the sound design. So I made it a little tighter, pitched it down. I'm gonna go to my snare and I'm gonna make it a little snappier. And let's go to our audio effects in our browser. Remember guys, this section on the left is our browser, opening and closing. It's where we go anytime we wanna add anything. So our audio effects are over here. Audio effects, just like, you know, a filter that you would put on your photo or your video um, or whatever is going to allow you to change the way something sounds. So I'm going to go drum bus, which is a really nice uh, production tool. And we're going to we're going to make this hit a little bit harder. Ooh, fat. OK, we got version two. Let's go, let's go just one more. 
make it even i'm gonna get a clap here on the snare doubling that up we got that spicy rim shot let's get some rim shot going on in here all right you guys are being patient i appreciate it Woo, baby. All right. Thank you for your patience, folks. Okay. All right. And let's do a little open hi hat here. All right. We got drums. We're chilling. We're looking good. Um, any any questions on this stuff before I move on to making some some melodic and harmonic elements? Okay, sweet. Uh, and uh, guys, uh, uh, Delilah has a question about the email. What's up, Delilah? No, you do not have to buy Ableton. This is part of what's so cool here is we can hook you guys up with it for free. Uh, if you are a K through 12 student, um, we can we can get you guys set up with the software. Um, so can we write in the key of A or D major? Absolutely. Um, so uh, Delilah, if you if you just say I was on the grid workshop, give me Ableton. I'll I'll pop over um, the the serial number with instructions of how to do it. All right. So just say that you are a part of the grid and we'll get it. We'll get it set up. Um, so Javi, Mr. Javier asked uh, if we can write in the key of A or D major. Absolutely. Um, so so what we can do is we're going to slide over again to our browser. Anytime we want to add something new. We went to drums to get our drums, but we're, we're chill on drums. We got some fatty 808s going on here. If I want to add in some other sounds. I'm going to go to where it says sounds. Surprise, surprise. And now, folks, we have all these different types of sounds that we can use. Ambient and evolving sounds. Booms. This is a new thing. That's quite a boom. Here we go. Let's use that. I think that actually sounds pretty sick. Um, so if I want to add this fatty, chunky, thick boy in there, I don't want to put it on track one because this is where my drums are. I want to click, drag, and drop it onto track two. Right? It was empty. It was just two MIDI, empty MIDI track, nothing in there. It says drop an instrument or sample here. But if I uh, take my, my uh, tunable boom drone, which is just another way of saying an 808, and I pop this in here. Oh. Yeah. Um, I've got I've got something thick that we can use. So we want it we want it to be an A or D major. So let's let's do that. Um, one thing that's pretty insane to know uh, about Ableton Live is you can actually really control your your scales. Um, so if we take a look, this is something that is actually a rather new addition. Um, we can we can worry about that in a second. So if we want if we want it to be low, we got to scroll down to the low notes here, right? So A major. What are the what are the notes in A major, folks? What are what are our A major notes? So if we go whole, oop, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, we got the notes of A major. Uh, which we know is the same thing as F sharp minor. Uh, I generally think in minor keys. So we're going to roll with F sharp uh, minor. Okay, so let's drag that out. Nice, long, low sound. And so... Bum, 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 bum. Uh, 
So I kind of like that. Let's make it twice as long. And then bring this down to the C sharp, which is our five. Okay, now, one thing that we want to talk about here is if we take a look on the left, what do you guys see? We see a keyboard, right? We see a piano. This, just like in Soundtrap, just like in GarageBand, just like in any other digital audio workstation, is called a piano roll. And the difference when we're working with drums versus melodic instruments is when we look at our drum clip, remember, these guys are called clips, uh, we see we have the names of the drum sounds here on the left. Whereas when we're looking at it with our basses or melodies or whatever, we don't have drum sounds because we're not dealing with drums, right? We are dealing with um, notes. So, you know, just to, to put up, you know, I mentioned earlier that you can choose your scale. So Mr. Javier, check this out. If I say scale, I want to be in A major now it'll highlight for me all the notes that are in A major. And if I want to be a serious cheater, I can go here and hit scale and it just gets rid of all the notes that are not in the scale, which is pretty sick. Um, but folks, you got to learn your scales. You got to know your key signatures. It's all important stuff, uh, whether you're you know, composing classical music or, or making beats. This stuff is all connected. So what do we got? We got some, uh, some beefy... Oh, let's make this version three, please. Uh, version one drums. Let's turn the volume of all this stuff down. We are we are getting a little too hot. Want some headroom, right? Okay. Uh-huh. 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 And I'm gonna change this sound up just a touch. Maybe a little heavier. That sounds nice. Okay, sweet. So I want to try something here, right? We're going to do something a little bit different because we've seen right now kind of the basic, basic way of doing this where we can get drums, we can get an instrument, we make our little parts. We're going to try something a little bit different here now, party people. We are going to do some sampling. Can somebody please tell me what what is uh, what is sampling? Oh, and I see we have some questions here. Uh, what are the best notes to start practicing on the flute? You know, I, I'm really not sure uh, what's up with the flute. Um, yeah, so you're going to have to talk to a, a flautist for that. I'm a, I'm a producer. Apologies. Uh, Athena says soundtraps up and, and running. Okay. That's good to know. We're already halfway through. So I don't want to, I don't want to change gears too hard. Um, Oh, Mr. Javier says start on B flat. If you are in concert band. Thank you, Mr. Javier. I appreciate that. Uh, Christopher asks, how long have I been using Ableton live? Uh, longer than you've probably been alive. Um, I started producing when I was 16 and I'm now 33. So you do the math. Um, I am an Ableton certified trainer. Uh, I've been doing this for a minute and, uh, yeah, I love it. It's a beautiful, beautiful program. Um, and the fact that it's free for K through 12 students is pretty nuts. Um, so, okay. Drums, 808, we've got it going in. Um, uh, Mr. Javier, you, you said you have some some uh, guitarists in your class. Does anybody have a guitar with them right now? Mr. Javier, are you still there, my man? Can you hear me? There you are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I have a classroom full of individuals with a bunch of guitars, although they just called me out and said I won't let them... They, I won't let them play them right now because I want them to give you their full attention. Okay, because the only thing that I'm thinking is what we could do is we could have one person play even just a note. We've got it. We've here. Here's your here's your progression. You ready? Here we go. All right, I'm recording you. Nice. Can you, you give me that? one one note? What? Can you one, play? Okay, one time, one time. 
Okay, you got you got a click? I, you can give me. Uh, I just need you to play a single note. Just like oh, okay, a- one note, one oh, one quarter note, or just just a, a not a chord, but a, a single and one single note. You got it. Beautiful. Hey guys, can we give whoever just played that? I think that was probably Mr. Javier. Can we give him a round of applause? Nice work. Nice work. That was good. That was good. So we got some samples here, guys. And you'll notice if I look here at this grid, right? I see rectangles and lines. This is a grid, right? That's MIDI. But if I look here, I see waveforms, right? This is what we call audio. This is an audio track versus a MIDI track. Uh, Mr. Javier, I really want to pre- uh, you know, say thank you, man, for, for stepping up there and giving us uh, some really cool stuff to work with. Because really, guys, Ableton Live is a sampling powerhouse. It is um, using audio as an instrument. It is unmatched with any of the other DAWs that are available. Um, and we're, we're going to take a little bit of a look at that. Okay? So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new MIDI track because we are going to use this MIDI track, excuse me, to sample the audio from here. So what do we see on the bottom? It says drop an instrument or sample here. So that's what we did. We took instruments in track one and two, but I'm going to take this sample now and I'm going to put it in here for our, um, for our sample. So now this created something called a simpler, which is a sampling instrument in Ableton. And now I can go here and we can listen to this. You ready? Here we go. Right, here's those recordings. Sounds sick. Now, I'm going to go right to this starting point. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking this original recording which whoever played this really played it beautifully. And I, I can, if I play this, I'm going to solo this track so it's just by itself. And if I send it a C3, right, which is the middle C, it'll play the original pitch of it. Right, so this is the original pitch of the recording. Right? But if I go now and I make it higher, right, if I go up to C sharp and then D... And then D sharp. Right? You can see that notes get higher. And just by that same token, if I go here and I bring it down, now the notes get lower. Well, that sounds pretty crazy. It sounds like I'm making the stallion beat or something. So uh, let's let's go. That's that's one thing that we can do with simpler, right? That's using the classic mode. But what I wanted to try to do here is to use the slice mode. So we can go here Got and a... so we're going to get that first piece, cutting that up. And guys, this again, you can't do this stuff in Soundtrap, right? This is, this is, um, some some proper producer material here. All right. That sounds so good. All right, so now we're going to slide down to C1, which is when we're slicing where the start the slicing begins. So let's go um, let's bring this back with our drums. I'm going to turn the 808 off. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> nice. So we go maybe like, and I'm going to turn off the little headphones so I can't hear it every time I add it. Ooh, that sounds nice. Duplicate it, make it twice as long. And... So, um, and we'll do some syncopation there too. Nice. 
and we can see it playing the slices, right? It's kind of amazing, right guys? So let's get that 808 in the mix now. So I don't think those 808s are on the right notes anymore. That's fine. Um, we can tune that up later. All right. What do you think, folks? It's pretty sick. Um, My class thinks we collaborated beforehand. So, uh, no, nope. I've never met Mr. Javier in my entire life. This is uh, all in the moment, I assure you. Uh, and to, to, to prove it even further, uh, I just created another MIDI track. All right. And this is Mr. Javier. This is why I wanted you to play just one note. So I can go here now to your end piece. Right, this is where hey yo. That's that that note that you played. Which sounds super cool because it's coming over the internet. It's all like degraded and nasty. Let's get some reverb. Right, so again, I'm just taking that original note and playing it on different pitches. Right, I can play one note at a time. I can play multiple notes at a time. I mean, that sounds pretty trappy. Okay. I love the way that sounds. All right, I'm going to stop your chords, Mr. Javier. And I'm going to press, I'm going to make a little, just going to make a little melody, which again, C3 is our original note. Right, this is the original pitch, I should say, of the sample so let's go maybe something like uh you know let's see what what and this is this is an important thing to know right it's the original pitch of the sample so even though i'm playing a c it's actually an f sharp and it looks like it's just a tiny bit sharp so i'm gonna tune that down So because this note is an F sharp, if I play just a C minor scale, it'll actually be an F sharp minor scale. It's a little little bit of a head turner there. So okay, let's do let's just make a very basic basic pattern. I'm going to make this all legato so they all connect. Let's maybe move it down an octave. So again, what am I doing here, guys? I took the recording of Mr. Javier playing guitar, put it into a sampling instrument, which again, all that I did to do that was create a new MIDI track. And so here's our empty MIDI track. It says drop an instrument or sample here. I grabbed that audio, dropped it in, and I put it in classic mode, right? That's the default setting. Went to the sound that I wanted. And just like I created a clip for my drums, just like I created a clip for my 808, I double clicked to create a clip and then I was able to draw in my part. Questions, guys? Y'all are with me still? Okay, okay, sweet. So. I mean, that sounds pretty crazy. Right, so here are those chords. Let's get this sounding a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna get, um, let's get a phaser. Oh yeah. All right, now I'm going to get a little bit of reverb before the phaser. Let's get a little delay as well. Just to give us a little bit of flavor. Ping pong. All right, now here's our melody.
I mean, that sounds pretty nuts. All right, now I'm going to go to the other drums. Okay, that is pretty nuts. Um, thanks again to Mr. Javier for for holding it down there with the with the guitar. It really sounded cool. Um, so, uh, all right, guys, um, we're gonna we're gonna do one more thing here, and then I'm gonna open it up uh, to to questions. All right, I'm gonna open it up to questions, but I'm gonna show you guys because right now this is again this is not on a timeline. This is a web of options, right? Oh, you know what? Before I actually record it, I want to get my 808 um, right on this. So I think I'm just going to keep it real simple. And let's go and just get it. I think we can go even lower. Yeah, just real simple for the sake of an example right now. Okay, sweet. So got my 808. I'm going to get rid of this one. We have our web of options here. We can do whatever we want with this. But I'm going to decide how I want this to start. I'm going to turn off my drums. I'm going to turn off my 808 by hitting the squares. I mean, that sounds like a pretty cool way to start it. Okay, so I'm going to start with just my, let's rename this. This is Melody. These are chords. And that's our 808. All right, so I'm gonna start with the melody, then go in with the chords, then bring in my drums, all right? And we're gonna take it from there. So guys, again, this up and down view is called session view. Our left to right view is called arrangement view. And this is where, you know, Logic, uh, Pro Tools, uh, Soundtrap, BandLab, this is kind of all you get with those programs. So I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way to get going from session into arrangement and that's using our arrangement record button which is this circle right here on the top uh when i hit that anything that i do in session is going to get recorded into arrangement view so i got my melody launched it's green everything else is not playing yet so when i hit that we can see now that red clip is getting recorded in There are my chords going on top of that. I'm going to let that go one more time. All right, then I'm going to get going with my version one drums. All right, there it goes. Okay, now I'm going to play those two at the same time. So I highlighted them both. All right, I'm gonna bring in version three. All getting recorded here. All right, 808, I'm gonna take that out next. Okay, 808's gone. Back to the simple drums and... Okay, I'm gonna take out... Ooh, 
hit the space bar to stop. And folks, everything that I just did got recorded here into the arrangement. If I want to hear it, I have to hit this, what's called back to arrangement button, this little orange guy on the top right. I hit that. And now here's everything that I did. And I can just sit back, press play, and it'll go through it. I don't have to trigger it anymore because I already recorded that in. Here come the chords. All right, there's one more thing that I want to do because I felt like Mr. Javier was saying lots of cool stuff in that recording. So I want to use him. You ready? Here we go. I mean, that's perfect. Ready? Here we go. We're going to grab that, drop that into where I want that to go. So I'm going to cut everything out right before the beat comes in. We're going to go like, whoop, unsolo that. You ready? Here we go. Close, close. Slide that over and hit it with the chord. You ready? Here we go. Now that sounds cool, but I think we can make this thing sound even sicker. So I'm going to go switch up my warp mode. Let's put it on Complex Pro. This is advanced. Don't worry about what I'm doing so much right now. Uh, you ready? Here we go. Ready, here we go. Maybe that's a little too low. Ready, here we go. Ready, here we go. And I'm going to make it a little bit louder. Ready, here we go. Ready, here we go. And I'm going to change the timing just a little bit. Ready, here we go. Is that right? Ready, here we go. Ooh, close, close. Thank you for your patience, chillers. Ready, here we go. There it is. Nice, nice. Um, so you can see one. We, there's a whole lot of editing that you can do on on the arrangement view, um, like you would do in anything else. I was just showing you the simplest way to get there. Um, all right. So I'm going to do a. I've got some lyricists who have come up. They they were so inspired by your beat oh. that I have some young lady. I have a young a couple of young ladies that put together some lyrics. If you'd like to hear them, a hundred percent. And I and my rapper who is phenomenal just caught back. Oh, he was called sick. out, and he might even be will, inspired to drop some bars here. Wow! All right, Arthur so, Jimenez. Arthur Jimenez is his name. Arthur Little Oz. Find him on IG. Little Oz. Okay, love it. So what I'll what I'll do then, guys, is I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna let this loop. Okay. And and uh it's 947. I'm gonna let this loop until 950. And I'm just gonna record you guys. Okay. So uh whenever you are ready, bros, um, let's let's get it. So I'm gonna uh start at the beginning and uh live music making on the grid 2023 mr javier's class taking the wheel uh my one request folks is please ensure that we keep all of our language clean you are welcome to make any kind of music you want on your own time but we are on school time right now so don't get me in trouble mr javier's class uh i'm gonna start recording uh rock and roll <laughs> I hop in the car. Wait, no. It's like, no, I don't. <laughs> I hop in the car. I drive to the bar. Cheers in my hands. <laughs> I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, Hello Kitty. Don't litter. Don't act so bitter. Better. <laughs> that was sick. That was her bars. Those were her bars. We got little OZ. We got little OZ coming up here. On, come on down here. Hold on, we're gonna get him down here. He says he wants just to hear the track a little bit. All right, all right. I'm in the car. I hop to the bar. I'm in the dance. I'm stealing your man's. I don't be stealing no man's. <laughs> I'm not with that. Uh. Okay. Yeah. 
look Sometimes I close my eyes, I like to go look at the stars Yeah, I know I'm going far I be driving foreign cars I don't go to no bars I'm just trying to hit the studio You is not my bro We not friends, no, we not coolio Trust me, you should go be by yourself Lately I've been focusing on myself Better in my own health Yeah, getting all this wealth Look at all my packs up on the shelf uh, Yeah, go ahead, uh. Who else want to go on? <laughs> oh, off the top, off the top. <laughs> wow, wow. Guys, we just made some magic happen. If you are if you are in Mr. Javier's class, clap it up for yourselves. Amazing work. And, and everybody else that's on the Zoom. Thank here, you, thank you, thank you. Uh, please, please, you know, uh, show some love for these guys. Getting getting on the mic from, from on the internet. That was crazy. Thank you guys. Super, super sick. So, uh, we got this recording all right here. Uh, that was all banging. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna use them both. And I'm gonna I'm gonna be a good boy here, and I'm going to save this. This is um, let's call this uh, here. Let's go straight onto the desktop. We'll call this um, Grid Twenty Three. Wait. So, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna solo this. Hop in the car. Wait, no. <laughs> Whoever did that, young lady, you are amazing. That was that was super sick. So, uh, I hopped in the car. I hopped in the car. I jumped to the bar. Tears in my hands. <laughs> I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, man, that is so sick, dude. So so sick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna keep that. Uh, I'm gonna move this over for now. That's our chorus right there. That is our chorus for sure. I hop in the car. And let's let's get a little bit of love on the way that this sounds. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Let's get a glue compressor, which is a, a compressor uh, that sounds I real hop nice. In the car. I to the bar. Cheers in my hands. <laughs> I'm grabbing your man's. Oh. And we're gonna get a little bit of reverb on that. Nothing too crazy. I hop in the car. I jerk to the bar. Cheers in my hands. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, I hopped in the car. I jerk to the bar. Cheers in my hands. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, <laughs> so sick. All right. And then we're going to get uh, OZ coming in hot right here. Sometimes I close my eyes. I like to go look. Yes. Yes. So what is he saying right here? Okay. Yeah. Look. Sometimes I close. My nice. Okay, so we got to get that little bit of flavor in there before it drops. Okay. And again, we're gonna do what I'm gonna do here is I'm I know this isn't drums, but I'm still gonna use drum bus because it gives it some nice. Um, it heats it up a little bit. Sometimes I close my eyes. I like to go look at the stars. Yeah, I know I'm going far. I be driving foreign cars. I don't go to no bars. I'm just trying to hit the studio. You is not my bro. We not friends. No, we not coolio. yo. All right. And I'm going to put a limiter on the master so we don't get too clipped out. Clipping is when it gets distorted because there's too much sound. Okay, here we go. So. I hop in the car. I jerk to the bar. Cheers in my hands. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, I hopped in the car. I jerk to the bar. Cheers in my okay. hands. Yeah. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh. Sometimes I close my eyes. I like to go look at the stars. Yeah, I know I'm going far. I be driving foreign cars. I don't go to no bars. I'm just trying to hit the studio. You is not my bro. We not friends. No, we not coolio. Trust me, you should go be by yourself. Lately, I've been focusing on myself. Love that part. My own health. Yeah, getting all this wealth. Look at all my packs up on the shelf. Uh, yeah. Man, little Ozzy, I got to really give you a shout out, dude. That was that was crazy. Uh, it's amazing you did that off the top. Uh, thank you. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you. Dude, crazy. Thank you so crazy. real. Thank you. For real, for real, for real. Uh, we're going to bring this. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Thank you. Oh, man. It's totally my pleasure. Save this. Um, all right. So, guys, I, I will make this available. Uh, I'll send this to, to uh, the good people at the grid so that um, anybody that wants access to it can get it. Um, 
We've got six minutes. Six minutes, party people. Um, Jack Aaron, is this my boy Jack? The the the. Oh, the, can you can you hear me? I see you in the chat, my G. Um, oh my goodness! I was, hey, I was. Hi, how's it going? Nice to hear your voice, bro. Uh, <laughs> Jack is an all-star teacher that at Culver City High School. That uh, big fan of this guy. Oh, um, thank right, you. Well, guys, you. We, got, we got six minutes. Somebody asked me a question. How do we make such magical things just happen? What did I do? Any questions, folks? Fie. Yes, this is Fai. Thank you, Husky Wood. Um, so I see I see a question in the chat. Uh, Caitlin says, can you take an instrumental version of a song uh, and edit it into a regular version or even add on to it? Yes, absolutely. You can take any audio, right? Whether that's an instrumental version of a song or just, you know, bits and pieces of a song, bring it into your DAW and, um, you know, uh, add whatever to it. You can record yourself rapping. You could record yourself singing. You could record yourself playing your instrument. Um, you know, it's, it's a, it's a playground. You can literally do anything with it, which is part of what makes it such a, it's a, it's an amazing thing. It's, it's a really, really beautiful thing. Um, and yeah, Ableton, we can make this available to you guys for free. Remember, guys, all you got to do is shoot us an email, contact at youngproducersgroup.com. Or if you're a teacher, uh, please check out the Ableton for the Classroom uh, initiative. If you just search Ableton for the Classroom, you can find all that stuff. Um, well, it looks like we have some folks leave in the class. It was an absolute pleasure being with you guys today. Um, you know, we've got four more minutes. I'm happy to answer any questions from students, questions from teachers. Let me know. Any questions, party people? What kind of music do you uh, like to make the most? Asks Athena. Um, Athena, uh, that is a that is a great question. I um, you know, I like to make techno. Techno is my my first love. Uh, you can just take a four to the floor boom, 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 and put anything you want on top of that. If you want to hear some music that I've made uh, with kids, go to SoundCloud.com slash Young Producers Group. Um, that's, you know, not just me. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's from the whole crew. Athena, you said you like to make metal, um, underneath this, I'm wearing a, a, a shirt of one of my favorite metal bands, Necrot. Uh, I'm, I'm a, uh, total metal head as well. That's cool that you like to make metal, Athena. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, metal, metal's my jam, country's my jam. Um, but also I like electronic music a lot. So, um, any, any questions about Ableton, any questions about music production, any questions about any of that? Nope. How did I start? Um, so Mr. Javier, I, I started, um, I started by playing guitar when I was, uh, you know, a young, a young one. Um, that, that was really what my, what my thing was. I was really into rock and roll. Um, and, and, you know, that was, that was really my, my focus in middle school. And, um, I quickly discovered just the magic of, uh, of producing and how, you know, not only could I be one part of the band, but I could play every single thing in, in a song. And my buddy who I started a band with when we were in middle school, um, you know, we started producing together and started making entire songs and i fell in love with that process um so yeah i started by playing guitar and got going with ableton in high school so you know i think you guys are are set up to do that um my bro jack asks what is your all-time favorite plugin my students have gotten into uh some of the the free ones vital shaper box yeah so vital is incredible if I had to really boil it down to one third party plugin that I think is the best, I would have to say it's Serum. Um, Serum is a lot like Vital. Uh, it is um, a wavetable plugin. Uh, it's amazing. It's, it's 
got to be the most powerful synthesizer I've ever used. Um, all right. Well, guys, again, if you want free Ableton and you are a K through 12 student, contact at youngproducersgroup.com. Um, I'm going to go out with this. So, folks, thank you for hanging out. I'm Lawrence Gray. Any students any or any teachers interested in curricula, we can hook you guys up with curriculum as well. Um, check us out, youngproducersgroup.com. We got a little sign-up form up there if you are interested. Mr. Javier, please, uh, please, yeah, reach out. Um, all right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you to the people that recorded the samples. This was so much fun. Sometimes I close my eyes, I like to go look at the stars. Yeah, what? I know what? I'm going far. I be driving foreign cars. I don't go to no bars. I'm just trying to hit the studio. You is not my bro. We not friends. No, we not coolio. Trust me, you should go be by yourself. Lately, I've been focusing on myself, better in my own health. Yeah, getting all this wealth. Look at all my packs up on the shelf. Uh, yeah. I hop in the car. I jump to the bar. Tears in my hands. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh, I hop in the car. I jump to the bar. Tears in my hands. I'm grabbing your man's. Oh. All right, folks, that is a wrap. That is a wrap. Um, take it easy. Take it easy. We thank you, Lawrence, for your excellent, excellent presentation. So, yes, this was very engaging. So we definitely thank you for um, being our presenter for this particular session. Truly, truly my pleasure. So I will, I will export this song, um, and, and make it available to people. Uh, yeah, sweet. Anything else that you need from me, Candace? That is it.